If you're a fan of the hit sitcom Taxi, then you'll remember Mary Lou Henner, who played Elaine O'Connor Nardo. Mary Lou has had a prolific career in the entertainment industry, working across several mediums and managing to appeal to different generations. Join Factsverse to learn about Mary Lou Henner's life and career and how she became popular and what she's up to today. Mary Lou Henner's Early Life and Career Mary Lou Henner was born as Mary Lucy Denise Henner on April 6, 1952 in Chicago. She wasn't from a showbiz background, but she was eager to become a star. While a student at the University of Chicago, she joined a local production of Grease when she was 19. She played the role of Marty and loved it. She got the chance to take the role to the Broadway adaptation of Grease, but instead decided to work for a touring company that was performing the play. She acted alongside John Travolta, though at this time he was playing Duty rather than Danny. She clearly had a great time working on Grease, as she never looked back and never considered anything else but working in showbiz. Throughout the 70s, she continued to act in several plays before breaking into films. She began her film career in the late 70s. Her first film was in the now-classic film Between the Lines, and she worked along great actors, including with several prominent actors like Jeff Goldblum and Lindsay Krauss. The film was a hit, and this got Mary Lou more attention. She appeared in the TV movie Off Campus later that year as well. The following year, she also snagged a role in the drama Blood Brothers, which starred Paul Sorvino and Richard Gere. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Let's talk about the sponsor for today's video, Aura. Aura is an all-in-one solution to protect you from identity theft online. It includes identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software, all wrapped up into one easy-to-use app. If you're not using every single one of these tools to protect yourself, you're going to have a weak spot. It's like making sure your front door is locked, but leaving your back door wide open for intruders. Aura continuously monitors the dark web for any of your personal information, and they'll send you an alert the moment they find anything. I was shocked to find out that several of my login credentials were found on the dark web, and I wouldn't have known this without Aura. If you're active online, it's nearly impossible to protect all of your personal information unless you're using a tool like Aura. This is exactly why there are so many victims of cybercrime and identity theft. In fact, identity theft is so common, there's a new victim every 14 seconds. That means at least three people have had their identity stolen since I started talking about Aura in this video. So if you want to protect yourself and your family from identity theft, go to Aura.com slash Faxverse. By visiting this URL or clicking the link in the description, you can get a 14-day free trial of Aura and start getting protection today. Mary Lou's Film and Television Career Mary Lou Henner was offered to appear in the film version of Grease. It seemed ideal as she'd appeared in the play and had worked alongside John Travolta, who was going to star in it. This would have been a great opportunity for her to launch to stardom. And yet, she took a different route. She was also given the opportunity to act in a TV show, which she would have to dedicate herself to for a few years. While this might not seem like much of a risk today, the landscape was different in the 70s. While television was still popular among American audiences, there was still a greater respect given to film actors. Yet Mary Lou decided to bite the bullet and join a ragtag group of actors appearing in a sitcom called Taxi. She played Elaine O'Connor Nardo, a single mother who decided to take up driving a taxi to support herself and her children. The show launched her to stardom and opened the door to more opportunities. Over 40 years since she first appeared in Taxi, she still has many fond memories of the show. She was one of the few female cast members on the show, and she had flings with some of her co-stars. She dated Tony Danza for some time, and also dated Judd Hirsch. While Tony and Judd managed to date her, there were many other fans who fell head over heels in love with Mary Lou on the show. She played Elaine for 114 episodes over five seasons. To this day, it's remembered as one of the most popular American sitcoms of all time and the show that made Mary Lou Henner a major TV star. After Taxi, it was only uphill from there. When Taxi ended, she appeared in the film The Man Who Loved Women. She was part of an all-star ensemble that also included Burt Reynolds, Kim Basinger, and Julie Andrews. It was a very successful romantic comedy that showed Mary Lou Henner had great range as an actress. It showed she was equally comfortable on the small and big screen. 
She continued to get roles throughout the 80s and soon became one of the most prolific actresses of her generation. In 1984, she appeared in the film Johnny Dangerously. Now considered a cult classic, she co-starred with Michael Keaton in this hilarious film about a goody two-shoes who has to unwittingly turn to a life of crime. She also reunited with former Taxi co-star Danny DeVito. Throughout the 80s, she also made guest appearances on popular shows like Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Who's the Boss, and The Tracy Ullman Show. She also appeared in the TV movies Grand Larceny, Channel 99, and The Lady Killers. She did some of her most interesting work in the 90s. In 1990, she reunited with her friend John Travolta to appear in the film Chains of Gold. It was a dark and gritty crime film, and Mary Lou showed she could break away from her usual comedic and lighthearted films and TV shows to appear in such a harrowing film. In 91, she appeared in L.A. Story, a unique comedy and drama which starred Steve Martin, Patrick Stewart, Victoria Tennant, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Richard Grant. She won praise for her role and was lauded for being able to stand out even when working with so many acting legends. In 1992, she appeared in the film Noises Off, directed by the iconic Peter Bogdanovich. The film starred Michael Caine, Carol Burnett, and Denholm Elliott. This was a fun comedy about a theater group and their mishaps. No doubt Mary Lou had many memories from her theater experience to draw on for this film. Throughout the rest of the 90s, she appeared in a slew of great films and shows and TV movies. One that stood out was when she played Nancy Kahn in Fighting for Justice, The Nancy Kahn Story. This harrowing film was based on the true story of a woman who was in danger when her former stalker got released from prison. Mary Lou won immense acclaim for her performance, and fans could hardly believe this was the same actress who, almost 20 years earlier, was making them laugh in Taxi. The 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s have also been great for Mary Lou Henner, who has not seemed interested in retiring from showbiz. Her notable work from these decades include the feature film Enemies of Laughter, the TV movie Love Rules, and The Governor's Wife. In 2012, she appeared in the hit film Vamps, and in 2018, she appeared in the films Imperfections and Life with Dog. She also had a recurring role in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mary Lou's Life and Legacy Mary Lou Henner is now in her 70s and she's showing no signs of slowing down. Apart from her acting, which she continues, she's also authored 10 books and has raised two children. She's been married three times, first to Frederick Forrest from 1980 to 82 when they divorced. She then married Robert Lieberman, with whom she had two children. They were married for 11 years before divorcing. She's been married to Michael Brown since 2006. Her son Nick directs music videos and short films, and her son Joe appeared in an episode of her popular cooking show. Her most recent project was her work in a TV show called Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries, which wrapped in 2022. She's one of the best actresses of her generation and can easily be described as a sex symbol, and hopefully the best is still yet to come. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Mary Lou Henner? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.